In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Adorable Will, I want to pray these titles, but I am unable to do it. Come and do it with me, and I'll do everything well. Jesus and Mary, I honour you and I cherish you, one with Louisa, creature who the divine will puts order between her and the creator, keeping her constantly aware of their love and sanctity. Louisa, creature who the divine will puts in communication with the Supreme Being. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter, who in calling everyone, Jesus rings the little bell to the celestial residence and those of the earth, and stops ringing only when all of them have run into her act. Louisa, creature through who the celestial residents feel they can give Jesus new love. Louisa, the one who gives the Supreme Being the field for new works and makes their love gush out more strongly. Louisa, how much the Supreme Being loves her. Louisa, the one who accompanies the Supreme Being always. Louisa, the one who receives the Supreme Being's creative act. Louisa, the one whose company the Supreme Being keeps in the celestial spheres. Louisa, the one whose company the Supreme Being keeps in the shining sun. Louisa, the one whose company the Supreme Being keeps in the blowing of the wind. Louisa, the one whose company the Supreme Being keeps in the air that all breathe. Louisa, the one whose company the Supreme Being keeps in the murmuring of the sea. Louisa, the one who follows the Supreme Being everywhere and in every place. Louisa, the one who defends the Supreme Being and returns love to them. Louisa, the one who cannot live without the Supreme Being, without loving them. Louisa, the one who the Supreme Being cannot live without, and jealous they hold her tightly to their divine womb. Louisa, creature whose company is so dear to the Supreme Being, that they form with her their recreation and make the most important decisions for their glory and for the good of the human generations. Louisa, creature who, while in her company, the Supreme Being accomplishes their designs. Louisa, creature who, without her company, the Supreme Being's goods would be depressed without being able to give life to what they want to do for love of the creatures. Louisa, creature whose company is necessary to the Supreme Being's love, to their works, to the fulfillment of their will. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. 
Louisa, creature in whose depths the divine will forms its day. Louisa, creature whose dawn gathers the divine will's power, renewing in her the power of the Father, the wisdom of the Son, the virtue and love of the Holy Spirit. Louisa, creature who starts her day with the most holy trinity. Louisa, creature whose dawn is the first rest of God within the room of the soul. Louisa, creature whose dawn is the beginning of the eternal day in which the life of the Supreme Being starts together with the creature. Louisa, in who the adorable trinity forms the divine chamber in which the divine persons can enjoy their beloved creature. Louisa, one who lives in the divine fiat, whose beginning of the day is beautiful and is the enchantment of all the heaven. Louisa, one who is fortunate to possess within her soul, while living in time, the beginning of the eternal day. Louisa, creature whose second act in the divine will made the sun rise that shines over all, that all may find the one who loved God for them, adored him, thanked him, blessed him, and glorified him. Louisa, creature who compensates for everyone. Louisa, creature whose act in the divine will has the power and capacity to make up for everyone and to do good to all. Louisa, creature whose acts in the divine will are full of unheard prodigies, worthy of God's creative works. Louisa, creature whose third act in the divine will forms the full afternoon of the eternal sun within her. Louisa, creature who, with the full afternoon, prepares a banquet for the Supreme Being. Louisa, creature who gives the Supreme Being as food the love they have given her, their divine qualities. Jesus and Mary, I cherish you and I love you, one with Louisa, creature who is the owner of all God's goods. Louisa, creature who takes from God's treasure whatever is needed and prepares for them the most beautiful banquet worthy of their supreme majesty. Louisa, creature whose other acts serve, some to form for the supreme majesty celestial melodies, some loving chants, some the most beautiful scenes, some others repeat their works, which are always in action. Louisa, creature who keeps the Supreme Majesty always busy. Louisa, loyal daughter of the Supreme Majesty, who prays and suffers to beseech graces for the souls of her brothers and sisters, as well as for their bodies. Louisa, one whose life in the divine will is new joy and glory for heaven and help and graces for the earth. Louisa, daughter of Jesus' will. Louisa, everything she does contains one divine life. 
Louisa, creature in whose little love she gave the triune god life of love. Louisa, creature in whose acts she gave the triune god the life of light. Louisa, creature whose acts were formed in the center of the life of the divine fiat. Louisa, creature whose every I love you possesses the life of love. Louisa, creature whose every adoration possesses the life of divine adoration. Louisa, creature whose every exercised virtue possesses one the life of divine goodness, one the wisdom, one the fortitude, one the power, one the sanctity. Louisa, creature who the triune God sees in their seas and feel repaid with that love that they want from the creature. Louisa, creature whose acts the Supreme Being looks at and calls the whole celestial court to celebrate together with him. Louisa, creature whose acts and those of the divine will formed lives that are Jesus' glory, his triumph, his smile, the echo of his love, of the triune God's harmony and happiness. Louisa, whose acts in the divine will are lives in the sun, in the stars, in the air, in the wind, in the sea. Louisa, creature whose every I love you was a life of love that runs to take its place of honor inside the divine seas. Louisa, one whose I love you does not wait for another competing among themselves. Louisa, one whose I love you, the acts in the divine will are little lives that never die. They are eternal with the Supreme Being. Louisa, one whose little lives populate heaven and spread themselves everywhere, in the entire creation, in the saints and angels, and around the queen. Louisa, one whose little lives are the enchantment of all heaven. Louisa, one whose little lives are the greatest wonders of the Supreme Being, the true ones who repay them for their eternal love. Louisa, one whose little lives are follies of love, so unusual that by looking at them it is known that they are the Supreme Being's daughters, lives formed and created by their divine volition. Louisa, the enchantment of all heaven. Louisa, the supreme being's perennial feast. They are hers and they celebrate each other. Louisa, Jesus' good daughter. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, little daughter of Jesus' will. Louisa, one who Jesus can feel in his tears and in his wailing. Louisa, one who Jesus can feel flowing in his crying sobs and in the shivering of his tiny limbs. 
Louisa, one who possesses the divine will and turns Jesus' tears into smiles, his sobs into heavenly joys. Louisa, one who, with her love dirges, warms Jesus and changes the pains into kisses and hugs. Louisa, one who receives continuous grafts of all that Jesus' humanity does. Louisa, one of whom Jesus makes a repetition of his life. Louisa, one in whom Jesus can find his power, his sanctity, his very life to do whatever he wants with her. Louisa, daughter of Jesus' love. Jesus and Mary, I love you and glory to my Creator, one with Louisa, creature who the triune God reflect themselves in, and with irresistible love they create their life. Louisa, Jesus' good daughter. Louisa, creature whose decision to live in the divine will was animated by a new life, a new divine strength, as to render her unconquerable by any evils or circumstances of life. Louisa, creature who the triune God covered and hid inside their love, so that they saw nothing but love in her. Louisa, creature whose acts in the divine will were first formed in heaven in the eternal day that knows no night. Louisa, creature who took refuge in her celestial fatherland. Louisa, creature who entered into the center of the fiat and called its power and creative virtue in order to give it the opportunity to operate in her act. Louisa, creature welcomed into the celestial fatherland by the divine volition and the most holy trinity. Louisa, creature to who the divine volition and the most holy trinity harmonized themselves to, embalming her act and blowing in it with their creative power. Louisa, creature who heaven calls our welcomed. Louisa, more than celestial creature, who feels loved by God with doubled love and feels inundated with new seas of grace. Louisa, creature who becomes the bearer of all that God operated in her. Louisa, creature who floods the earth and invests the whole of creation so all may receive the glory and the joy of the marvels that the divine fiat operated in her act. Louisa, creature who kept nothing for herself. Louisa, Jesus' dearest daughter. Louisa, creature whose I love you gives relief to the intensity totality and fullness of the triune God's love. Louisa, creature whose I love you, enters into the triune God's flames, breaks them, raises them, and soothes them. Louisa, creature whose I love you, is the support for the triune God's love. 
Louisa, creature whose I love you is the triune God's refreshment. Louisa, creature whose I love you is the quiet for the triune God's love. Louisa, creature whose I love you is so sweet and refreshing for the triune God. Louisa, one in who the triune God finds the refuge for their life. Louisa, one who can receive the triune God's life. Louisa, whose living in the divine will serves the triune God as a refuge, a theater for their works, a refreshment for their love and return for the entire creation. Louisa, creature who the triune God loves so much, they are obliged to give her whatever she wants. Louisa, creature whose each additional act in the divine will ties the triune God more and adds more chains. Louisa, creature who gives to the triune God their life, their works, their love, their very will. Louisa, creature who is the divine love's joy and happiness. Louisa, creature who in loving and glorifying Jesus in his own will gives him relief as she tries to repay him. Louisa, daughter of Jesus' will. Louisa, creature who Jesus feels behind him, in front of him, inside all his acts. Louisa, daughter of Jesus' will. Louisa, one to whom the divine will wants to make itself known and to make incessant love arise between itself and her. Louisa, one who the divine will calls from within its works and makes itself heard in the depth of her soul. Louisa, who Jesus called to give her the gift of his conception. Louisa, who Jesus called to give her the gift of his birth, of his tears, moans, and wailings. Louisa, who Jesus called as his celestial mama swaddled him in bandages to swaddle her together with him. Louisa, who Jesus called in every word he said. Jesus and Mary, I glorify you and I praise you, one with Louisa, who Jesus called in every step he took. Louisa, who Jesus called in every pain he suffered. Louisa, who Jesus called in every drop of his blood. Louisa, who Jesus called even in his last breath on the cross to give her everything as gift. Louisa, who Jesus kept safe by placing her with him in the hands of his celestial father. Louisa, who Jesus called in all that he did to pour out his love and make her feel how much he loved her. Louisa, who Jesus called to let his enrapturing voice descend into her heart. 
Louisa, Jesus' good daughter. Louisa, who Jesus chose to make her prisoner with chains so strong as to be impossible for her to escape. Louisa, who the Supreme Majesty speaks with about their will to make it known and extending its kingdom. Louisa, prisoner who is like a deposit for the whole human family. Louisa, simple creature who carries the marks of Jesus' imprisonment so as to strengthen the bonds between creature and creator to accomplish and complete the kingdom of the divine will in the midst of creatures. Louisa, poor daughter of Jesus, who was given Jesus' own destiny. Louisa, whose continuous imprisonment was necessary to Jesus' love, to keep him company and let him speak about the knowledge of his will. Louisa, who Jesus' love repays and frees from the shackles of her human will, setting her free in the fields and dominions of the kingdom of his will. Louisa, daughter of Jesus' will. Louisa, the creature who can say, I leave and I stay. Louisa, creature who can say, she leaves for heaven to beatify it, to reach her home and to make known to everyone her dear Jesus. Louisa, creature who can say, she stays on earth as her life, support and defence for all her brothers and sisters. Louisa, Jesus' little daughter, of his divine volition. Louisa, creature who feels the nature of the divine love that invests her, surrounds her, and flows like blood in her veins, even in the marrow of her bones, in the beating of her heart. Louisa, creature whose entire being says nothing other than love. Louisa, creature who the divine will placed in the divine order. Louisa, creature in whom is all harmony between her and God. Louisa, creature who the divine will threw into their own maze of love. Louisa, Creature who the triune God keeps at their disposal. Louisa, one who loves the divine love with its own love, to whom it can unleash its divine outpourings. Louisa, creature in who the divine majesty finds its eternal adorations, who can say to it a divine thank you. A divine, I bless you. Louisa, one who can give the divine majesty of themselves. Louisa, more than celestial creature who the divine majesty loves. Louisa, creature who keeps the divine majesty always in activity so they can give her whatever they want. Louisa, Jesus' good daughter. Louisa, creature in who the fiat operates unheard of prodigies. Louisa, creature whose acts in the divine will, Jesus calls my life, 
my act, echo of my power, the prodigies of my love. Louisa, daughter of Jesus' will. Louisa, creature who the triune God gave new love and new surprising graces in every instant. Louisa, creature who often plays to the triune God beautiful little sonatas from their divine notes. Louisa, the soul for whom the triune God surpasses the opulence, the pomp, the magnificence, and the sumptuousness they used in the creation. Jesus and Mary, I praise you and I thank you, one with Louisa, the soul who becomes like soft wax in Jesus' hand, being shaped into the life that he wants. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, creature who the divine act carried along as a triumph who gave it freedom to operate in her act, to make it known and loved by all. Louisa, one who lives in the divine fiat, who the triune God's love is exuberant for. Louisa, one who the triune God is all eyes over. Louisa, Creature who is for the triune God, the show of their love. Louisa, repeater of the triune God's own life. Louisa, Jesus' good daughter. Louisa, Jesus' little daughter of his will. Louisa, the one to whom Jesus' love entrusted its secrets to, making her aware of everything, loving with one love. Louisa, the one in whom Jesus' love repeated all that Jesus did within himself. Louisa, a creature who, together with Jesus, is the return of the glory and the love of creation and redemption. Louisa, the divine will is hers and its power and immensity are in her power. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, Creature who recognizes the triune God and loves them. Louisa. Creature who brings the triune God the most beautiful joys and the greatest happiness and forms their new conquests. Louisa. The creature who flies up to recognize the one who created her. Louisa, the creature who, in recognizing and loving the triune God, seals in them a note of love and happiness for her creator. Louisa, who the triune God recognizes their divine being in. Louisa, creature who becomes for the triune God their throne. Louisa, creature who becomes for the triune God their divine chamber. Louisa, creature who becomes for the triune God their heaven. Louisa, creature who the seas of divine love inundate. Louisa, Creature whose little acts form waves of love 
glorify and bless the triune God. Louisa, creature who recognizes the triune God in themselves. Louisa, creature who recognizes the triune God within herself. Louisa, creature who recognizes the triune God in all created things. Louisa, creature who the triune God recognizes in all their works, in everything. Louisa, creature who the divine love, united to the divine fiat, bring everywhere. Louisa, creature who the triune God places in order inside all of their works. Louisa, blessed daughter of Jesus' will. Louisa, creature who occupies the first place in the creation. Louisa, creature who all created things feel so connected and united to that they become her inseparable members. Louisa, fortunate creature who all created things feel happy and honored to be a member of. Louisa, whose soul as the head keeps her members in order and receives from God all the love, the sanctity, the glory, all the goods that the created things contain. Louisa, creature whose members are God's and God's members are hers. Louisa, the triune God becomes for her more than blood that circulates in the veins of her soul. Louisa, creature in who the triune God becomes the continuous heartbeat of love as they palpitate in her heart. Jesus and Mary, I thank you and I esteem you, one with Louisa, creature in who the triune God becomes the divine breathing as they breathe in her soul. Louisa, creature whose little love and acts the triune God puts into circulation in their divine being. Louisa, creature whose heartbeat and breath the triune God are so jealous of that they enclose them inside of themselves. Louisa, all that comes out of her remains locked within the triune God, who repays her with their love. Louisa, creature in who the triune God sees the continuous chain that never breaks. Louisa, creature in who the triune God has the ledge on which to lean. Louisa, Jesus' good daughter. Louisa, creature who is the owner of the triune God's seas of joy and happiness. Louisa, creature who the triune God arms with their power. Louisa, creature who pours into the triune God, and they pour into her, giving her their new life, new love, new sanctity, new knowledge of their supreme being. Louisa, creature in who the triune God can make the greatest prodigies and the most surprising graces. Louisa, creature who storms heaven. Louisa, creature whose empire is such 
that she imposes herself over the divine being, enclosing it within her littleness. Louisa, creature triumphant, who encloses herself within the divine womb. Louisa, creature who lends herself completely to God's power. Louisa, the soul in who the triune God formed many little fountains of love, goodness, sanctity, mercy, etc. Louisa, creature through who the triune God feels more moved to use their mercy. Louisa, creature who is God's intermediary between heaven and earth. Louisa, creature who in her abandon makes the triune God pour graces and make them love all the creatures with new love. Louisa, creature who in doing her acts all created things remain animated by her will and word. Louisa, creature who encloses her will, her voice, her love inside the created things. Louisa, creature who masters the entire creation and queen as she is, animates all and makes God loved by all. Louisa, creature who sweetly resounds to the triune God's divine hearing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Fiat. You have reached the end of day 35 of the titles of Louisa, Fiat,